there was a new bartender. He would make sure to make witty comments and crack jokes with each customer who came to him. And while he could make a good drink, he found he wasn't making good tips. And so he went to a veteran bartender and asked what he could do differently. She watched him and then said to him, honey, they come to the bar to be listened to, not to listen to you. That veteran bartender knew what she was talking about. In rabbinical school and in chaplaincy work, we learn that our job is really to listen to people. So often in life, there isn't someone who will just listen to us. People want to share about their pains, their joys, their different feelings. And this desire to be listened to is something that is ancient as well as modern. Usually when we think about Vayikra and we think about all of the various sacrifices, we feel so distant from the Torah portion. But when you think deeply about the Ola, the Mincha, the Shlamim, the Chatat, the Asham, and you imagine somebody bringing these sacrifices, you realize they're doing it because they want to show commitment to God. They want to have an opportunity to express thanksgiving. They brought these sacrifices when they sinned, sometimes on purpose, sometimes accidentally, when they offended others, when they recovered from illness, when they needed cleansing, and also when they just needed friendship, fellowship. We brought sacrifices when we had successes, when we had failures, and when we simply wanted to be with others. I like to imagine somebody coming. Um, one shares a story about how they accidentally offended a friend, trying to make a joke, but maybe he took the joke too far. Now they've hurt their friend's feelings. So he brings in a sham, a guilt offering, and the priest is there to hear the story, to hear his worries that his friend won't forgive. The priest is there to listen. The woman next in line maybe is there to offer a Thanksgiving offering. She is excited that her daughter is engaged to this wonderful groom who comes from a new family, but it's a bittersweet moment for her as her daughter leaves home and she doesn't look forward to being the only woman in the house. All of those sacrifices bring stories and all of those bring opportunities for the priest to listen deeply. Today, many of us use therapists or post things online, but there is a holy way to share and a holy way to listen. You know the expression, God gave us two ears and one mouth, so we should listen twice as often as we speak. Um, please know that the Jewish leadership here in Miami is here to listen to you. We are here to hear about your joys, your sorrows, what you're celebrating, what you are recovering from. We are here to listen. And just as in the ancient temple, that was a conduit to a higher power. So may you find that those listening to you are a conduit for you to your higher power. Shavuot Tov.